hello everyone welcome to hj programming solutions so in today's video we are going to see the interview question which is asked in amdocs company very recently so this interview question was asked for one to three years of experience and for the java developer position okay so if you are uh, attending the interviews and you have one to three years of experience then you can watch this video till the end because this is very important interview question on the oops concepts in the java okay so this question is based on the access modifiers method overloading and method overriding so what is the question can we use different access modifiers in method overloading and method overriding okay so to answer this question first you need to understand what is method overloading and then what is method overriding also you need to understand the access modifiers okay so very first what are the access modifiers we have we have public then protected then default and private okay so these are four access modifiers we have so let's understand what it means by public public means you can access that method everywhere public means you don't have any uh, restrictions okay you can access anywhere then what it means by protected protected means you can access the method within the package method or class okay within the package and outside the package if you have the child class okay if you don't have the child class then you you can access that method or the class only within the package okay so within the package and outside the package through our child class okay now the default what it means by the default if you are not providing any access modifier then it will be default okay so default means you can you have the accessibility within the package okay and now the private private means you can access only within that class if you have the private method then the accessibility for that method will be within the class not even within the package okay so this will be within the class only okay so these are the access modifiers we have public means you can access the method anywhere protected means you can access within the package and outside the package through the child classes okay if you don't have child class then you can access only within the package then default means within the package only and private means within the class only okay so now i hope you are clear with the access modifier concept now let's move ahead with the second part that is can we use different access modifiers in method overloading and method overriding okay so first let's understand what is method overloading so let's suppose here we have one class mm, let's take it as a test okay so we have one test class okay so inside this state test class let's suppose i have one method public m1 okay and let's write the return type as a void okay now i have one method which is m1 okay and now if i have one more method public void m1 and here i have let's suppose one more argument integer i okay now what it means by the method overloading method overloading means if you have the same method name and different number of arguments okay then you can call that method as a overloaded method 
For example, here we have this M1 method without parameter and then we have again one more M1 method with these parameters. Okay. Now let's suppose we want to overload this one more time. Then how we can write public void then method name should be same. So M1 and here you can change the type of the parameter and the number of parameters okay so let's suppose here i have one parameter as a string and uh, another as a float okay so this way we can make the methods as a overloaded overloaded means same method name different parameters okay same method name different number of parameters and different types of parameters okay so this is the example of the method overloading okay now what is left method overriding okay so currently we are just like discussing about the concept okay once we are clear with this concept then we are going to answer this question okay so now let's understand what is method overriding okay so here let's take the example okay so let's suppose I have one class parent okay and I have one more class child okay so inside this parent class I have one method public void mm, let's suppose m1 okay and now inside this child class also i have the same method public void m1 okay so now overriding means if we have the same method which is available in parent class okay so this is our child class and this is our parent class inside the parent class we have this m1 method okay and exactly same method we have in the child class as well then we call it as a method overriding so these methods are overridden methods overloading means within the same class if you have the same method but with the different parameters then you call it as a method overloading but method overriding means if you have the method inside your parent class and similar method or exactly same method you have in your child class then you call that method as a method overriding or method that methods are overridden methods okay so this is the concept of method overloading and method overriding okay now let's go to our question what is the question can we use different access modifiers in method overloading and method overriding okay now if we talk about the method overloading first here we have one method m1 okay and here what is the access modifier public here we have one more method m1 with different parameters and here also access modifier is public okay now the question is asking like can we have or can we change the access modifiers in the method overloading okay now here let's try to do that let's suppose here i am uh, first one is public so i am making it as a protected so see here i am not getting any error okay it means we can change the access modifiers but actually it in the method overloading the access modifier will not consider actually here only we are considering the method name and number of parameters okay return type and access modifiers are not in the scope of our method overloading okay now the second question is that can we use different access modifiers in method overloading okay so in method over uh, overloading we can do right here we did it now let's do in the method overriding so this is our m1 method 
available in the parent class and we have overridden the same method inside our child class okay before that actually here we have to write extends parent okay then only the parent child relationship will be there right now we can call this as a over riding or overridden methods okay now here we have the access modifier as a public in the parent class and in child class also we have public so the question is that can we change this access modifiers so now let's try to do that okay so here instead of public let me uh, do as a protected and see here here we are getting the compile time error what is the error see m1 in child class with m1 in parent attempting to assign weaker access privileges okay so before means in parent the access modifier was public and now you are trying to assign the access modifier as a protected and what it is saying that protected is weaker than public why protected is weaker because protected access modifier if you have then that method will be visible only inside your current package and outside the package you can uh, access but if you have the child class okay but public means you can access everywhere what it means public has the more scope but child having the less scope okay so here you cannot cannot make the public method to protected okay but if you have here the method as a protected and now inside the child class if you want to make it as a public then you can do that okay so if you want to change the access modifiers in the overriding okay in the method overriding then you can change it but you have to consider the scope okay in the parent you should have always the higher scope okay and when you are trying to change in the child then that time your scope should be higher means let's suppose in the parent class if you have public then you cannot uh, change the access modifier because public is having the higher scope all other access modifiers are having the less scope than public right so from public we cannot make anything like protected private nothing but in the parent class if you have the access modifier as a protected then you can make that protected to the public and protected will be allowed okay now if you have here as a private then the private actually we cannot override okay so that is uh, you can mention in the answer that a private method we cannot override right so let's remove this and if we are not providing any access modifier so what it means it will be the default one and default one will be accessible only within the package so here if i am making it as a public it will allow but if uh, i make it as a protected then also it will allow because uh, protected and public are having the higher scope than the default okay okay so how to answer this question can we use different access modifiers in method overloading and method overriding so in method overloading you can use different access modifiers because in method overloading we are just considering the method name and the parameters of that method okay here to validate that is this method overloaded or not we are not considering the access modifiers and the return type so if you try to uh, change the access modifier it will allow in method overriding if you try to change the access modifier will it allow so here if we have the access modifier as a public here and if we want to make it protected it will not allow why 
बिकॉज पब्लिक इज हैविंग द हायर प्रिविलेज दैन प्रोटेक्टेड दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट अलाउिंग सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज द डिफरेंट एक्सेस मॉडिफायर यू कैन यूज बट यू अल यू कैन नॉट मेक इट वीकर ओके सी हेयर वट एरर वी आर सींग अटेम्पटिंग टू असाइन वीकर एक्सेस प्रिविलेजेस प्रोटेक्टेड सो बिफोर इट वॉज पब्लिक एंड नाउ यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेक इट प्रोटेक्टेड प्रोटेक्टेड इज वीकर दैन पब्लिक सो यू कैन नॉट मेक इट वीकर यू कैन मेक इट स्ट्रॉन्ग ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ हियर वी हैव प्रोटेक्टेड and now you want to make it public it will not give any issue okay so this way we can answer this question with example so i hope you understood everything whatever we have explained here so if you like in the interview if you got this type of question first you answer like uh, start with what is access modifier then in short you just tell the method overloading and method overriding and then you can explain with example like uh, do uh, can you uh, can you use the different access modifier in method overloading and method overriding okay so that's it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you like the video please share with your friends who are attending the interviews okay so that they can also get the idea how to answer the interview questions so thank you